Now to an update on a story you saw first on 10, an adorable puppy on the long road to recovery. Police saying the dog suffered a savage beating at the hands of its owner. And now tonight that man is facing some serious animal abuse charges. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Motorhome live now in Fort Lauderdale to show us much more. Leanne. And some of his friends and family say we've got it all wrong, that police have it all wrong. More on that in just a second, but right now that man is behind bars. He was ordered held on $25,000 bond, ordered to have no contact with that animal or with any pets at all. <coughs> Dexter is a 12 week old pit bull puppy. One look at him and it's hard not to fall in love. He's super friendly, he's always giving kisses. Dexter has been spending the last week at Leader Animal Hospital in Cooper City. Vets say at that time he was barely responsive. He did have significant uh, signs of what we call head trauma. Dexter had four fractures to his skull, a puncture wound, bloodshot eyes, a broken jaw, and a bruised neck. A Pembroke Pines police report shows that his former owner, 21-year-old Daniel Smith, allegedly told doctors the puppy had fallen in the shower. But veterinarians said they did not believe that the injuries matched up with his story, so they called police. I do suspect that what happened to him here was trauma, was being hit, because if you think about any other kind of falling injury or anything like that, you're going to get hit on one side, so this is multiple areas. Smith says he never abused Dexter, but eventually turned himself in on Wednesday. He appeared in bond court this morning on an aggravated animal cruelty charge. Smith's private attorney saying in court all of this may have been an accident. There's nothing to suggest that my client or even anyone else necessarily caused these injuries, that they weren't accidental or that one individual in particular necessarily my client caused them. So a handful of people have reached out to me on Twitter saying that what Smith told police was true, that he did just suffer an accident with the animal in the shower. So we are waiting for Smith to bond out of jail and hopefully give us his side of the story to explain all of this. We should also note that he did give up custody of the animal. So pretty soon, once Dexter makes a full recovery, he'll be up for adoption. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. And winning hearts in the process. Okay, Leanne, thanks a lot.